take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth the price you didn't pay Ladies and gentlemen, do you see all the snow we have gotten there over the last couple of days? Well, basically a day and a half, I guess, or overnight. There, the one night, I think it was the the worst there when we got it there. And uh, yeah, as you see, we got a passenger in the seat here now. Yeah, my son Diego is coming for a little trip for us. And he's going to tell us all kinds of stories, ain't he? I don't know. You don't know yet? No, oh, well, well, luckily uh, I did the right thing. And uh, what I mean by that is uh, I went to uh, the yard here yesterday and I went and uh, and drove my truck back and forth a little bit so that way I wouldn't be stuck there this morning. And uh, usually after a big snowstorm, it gets really cold, so then the snow uh, kind of hardens. But look at all them trailers over there to the right. That's usually not Penner's yard, it's just basically uh, their drop yard whenever uh, Christmas and all them holidays come around. But anyways, what I was going to say is uh, because of, uh, of the cold weather this morning, the snow gets hard and then uh, you aren't able to get out of your spot if you didn't move it yesterday right and so because i did it yesterday i had no problem moving my truck this morning absolutely none whatsoever yeah we started her up i mean the ap unit was running all night pretty much so whenever it needed to anyway so uh all i had to do is clean off the snow a little bit and uh, as much as i could and and here we are we got our trailer and now we're hammered down towards Dryden, Ontario. I'm gonna do a trailer switch up there. We are currently empty and we'll do a trailer switch up there and then uh, go to Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Yes indeed, but uh, hey, we're happy. We got nice and sunshine today. I think the roads are going to be okay. I mean, even here, look at that. It's, you know, pretty decent in my opinion. But, uh, yeah. Let's make our way down to Dryden, in Ontario, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty, guys. We are just about to leave Manitoba, ladies and gentlemen. We're going through the last little valley up here. And roads right now are okay. There for a little bit there, they were uh, getting a little icy, but... Uh, I see up here they put some uh, gravel and stuff down, so we're good over here in this department, but let's take a look and see if this chicken house is going to be open, it doesn't look like it, I don't see no flashing lights up there, so should be alright, yeah, I know Ontario's got lower speed limits, so, uh, but you know, I drive my 96 and they got 90 kilometer an hour speed limit up there, so, should be all right. Yeah, it looks like you'd be having a hard time getting in that scale anyways. <laughs> looks like this guy tried. Well, he, I don't know what he's doing up there, but he's parked there anyways. I'm not sure what he wants to do, but anyhow, we got us another two hours to go yet till we will be in Dryden. We got an hour and a half behind us now. So, uh, yeah, looks like we will be entering Ontario right about now. Yeah, as soon as this highway comes together, we're in Ontario. And Ontario is known to be putting a lot of salt down on the roads, so I wouldn't be surprised if the roads will be better over here, but first little stretch doesn't look like it. <laughs> Maybe they took the day off. Yeah, it almost looks a little icier here than it did in Manitoba. <laughs> Man, just wait till we, till we get further down the road. Unless they took the day off, but generally they put a lot of salt down on the roads. And yeah, we're empty, so we have to be even extra careful on when we're empty. So, But so far we've been doing good. I haven't had too much uh, slow down 
sections yet, but I slowed down a few times, you know, going around the corners and stuff, but other than that, it's been good. So we'll make our way down to uh, Dryden, pick up our preloaded trailer. And once we got our load on, then we're usually, usually good to go. Even if there's a little bit of ice or whatever, usually with a heavy load, you, you, you know, you go through that a lot better. All right, guys, it looks like we got our first victim, I guess, uh, up here. And what I mean by that, looks like a tractor trailer or something is one in the ditch or I can't quite see if it tipped on it. Yeah, it looks like it tipped on its side. Oh boy, that's not good at all whatsoever. But oh well, that's the way it goes in winter time. Sometimes you get into a little bit of an accident. That's why I've been slowing down, eh? Yeah, I've been keeping it real slow today. Just whatever. Eh? We'll get there eventually, right? Much rather do that than what these guys are doing. It looks like right now they're hand bombing everything off of there. Like what I mean by that is they're hand unloading everything. There we go. Now we can get her out of here. And we'll uh, get a bit of a closer look and see what they got up there. It's definitely a big truck, that's for sure, but don't know who it is, but somebody uh, messed up. You never know what happened, right? But it's like small boxes. They're unloading small boxes into this trailer right here. Wow. Yeah. A blue Freightliner, it looks like. Oh, well. I guess things happen. We have a bad snowstorm or whatever, then you gotta be slow going. That's what I keep saying all the time, you know? Better safe than sorry, right? Alrighty guys, we have just done our trailer switch here in Dryden. Yep, now we're making our way down towards the boulder. Yeah, we got us a heavy, heavy, heavy load. We're right on the border. Borderline for weight, but uh, there might also be a little bit of snow on the uh, on the rooftop of the trailer, so that might uh, come off by the time we get down further down the road. So uh, hopefully some weight will come off of the trailer. I calculated it out and I think we're like 120 pounds over on the gross. Which ain't too bad, but uh, it could give us a hard time about it, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Although I do have the exemption for a PU unit, which allows me 500 pounds over, so hey, you should be all right. We just won't be able to fuel her up before we, uh, well, I might be able to put a little bit of fuel in, but probably not too much. Let's take a look how much fuel we used. We used 74 gallons so far. Let's keep that in memory, so that way uh, when we do fuel up, we know how much fuel we used. That way we don't feel more than what we used. Otherwise we would be overweight, right? Yeah, anyways, uh, roads look good. We got a good load on, so uh, shouldn't be having too many problems now. Got a heavy load. <laughs> so let's put the hammer down and let's make our way towards the boulder, ladies and gentlemen. Slowly but surely we are making our way towards the boulder, ladies and gentlemen. Still here on this 502 highway, zigzagging around these corners and trying to climb these hills and everything. And, but at least the temperature has started to warm up a little bit, and uh, yeah, now we got another big hill up here to climb. And that'd be about uh, the last one that we will have to climb. So. Hopefully we can make that with no problem. Which we should be able to. Construction ahead. Manage to climb all the other ones, right? Why not this one, right? Yeah, you see, we're slowing right down, eh? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. This is a big one here, that's for sure. Wow, we're actually slowing. 
going way down. I'm surprised, huh? Let's, well, we got a heavy load, that's for sure. So I just hope we ain't spinning anytime soon. That would really suck. Yeah, well, looks like we're gonna make it. That's awesome. We see another truck up ahead of us there. Don't know what company that is, but I do see him there. He just went around the corner, but yeah, looks like we got another seven kilometers to do, and then we'll be on Highway 11. We'll be out of this one. Ooh, now that sun is gonna be bright again. There for a little bit, it was behind the bushes there, so you didn't really need sunglasses, and then every once in a while you need them again. The sun pops through and all that, but uh, yeah, I was thinking we might be able to go a little further than the loose, but uh, because of the way we go, there really ain't any truck stops for a good while there after the loose, so I'm not actually sure we'll actually continue past the loose. I mean, we got probably another half an hour before we get to the border. And then uh, probably another two hours till we get to uh, Duluth up there. So we'll see. We'll see how far we will actually go. All right, guys, we are done. Uh, we have had us a very good day, I think. And uh, we are now in Ashland, Wisconsin, which is past Superior, Wisconsin. We had us a good night's sleep. We were going to finish this video, but uh, yeah, what do you say there, boy? I don't know. You tired? Sort of. Sleepy? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Anyways, we just got up here the next morning, and we figured we'd finish off our video, and then uh, we'll get ready for the next day. So, uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, and don't go nowhere. We got some more video coming tomorrow. So we'll have a go on. We'll catch you on the next one. It's been Trucker Rudy. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the wall.